the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice is among the many groups speaking out against Hamas's brutal attack on Israel and what has transpired since. Foundation President Dr. Katrina lantos Sweat released a statement saying in part, quote, as the daughter of the only Holocaust survivor ever to serve in the U.S. Congress, I have watched with horror and revulsion the brutal war that has been launched against Israel and the Jewish people. The savagery and barbarism of the Hamas terrorists have stunned some. For many others, it has merely confirmed what has long been known. And joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Katrina lantos Sweat, president of the Lantos Foundation. Katrina, thanks for being with us today. Obviously, this is very personal to you. Let's talk about that and what you think your late father's reaction would be if he were still here. Well, thank you for having me. I'm grateful for your attention to this issue. It has been a very difficult few days. My 92-year-old mother, who is also a Holocaust survivor, lives with me, and we've been glued as many of your viewers and listeners have been to the television. Uh, my father, I think his very first reaction honestly would have been to try to fly to Israel to stand in solidarity with his Jewish brothers and sisters. But I think he would have been saying things similar to what I wrote in, uh, in the statement that we put out. This is not merely a fight between Israel and Hamas, a democratic, rights-respecting, pluralistic society and an evil, barbaric, savage terror group. This is also a civilizational fight. And in that sense, it involves all of us. Um, this really is a battle between the forces of civilization and the forces of barbarism. And it is a time of choosing. What is your biggest concern right now? Well, there are many concerns. Of course, there's the immediate concern about the fate of the hostages that are um, have been taken to Gaza. There is, of course, concern about the many people who will suffer in what is likely to be a very bloody conflict that will unfold on our television screens um, in the coming weeks and months. And that includes innocent civilians in Israel, and it includes innocent Palestinians in Gaza. Um, but there is a big, big moral difference between the Israeli Defense Forces and the Hamas terrorists. The Israeli Defense Forces use their fighters to defend civilians. They warn those who are about to be attacked if they're civilians to flee. Hamas uses civilians as unwilling human shields. They use innocent civilians to try and protect and defend their fighters. It's really appalling. It's not only that there's no moral equivalence, there's a, a sort of moral mirror image um, in terms of, you know, one being really very, very evil in the way they do this. So, of course, I worry about um, what is coming because it will be difficult. But in the longer run, mm -hmm. I worry or I have concern that Israel be successful in its efforts to dismantle Hamas and quite frankly to free the Gaza Strip from the from the grip of this evil terror organization they, they bought and paid for by Iran the greatest uh, state sponsor of terror in the world Katrina I quickly want to talk about this we're almost out of time but I want to talk about you know the impact that's having here in the U.S. and around the world. I mean, there have been multiple pro-Palestinian and pro-Hamas rallies uh, with people chanting some really vile things about Israel and the Jewish people, uh, yeah. reported anti-Semitic attacks in France, a synagogue defaced in Madrid, Spain, and synagogues everywhere, including here in the U.S., on high alert. Your reaction quickly. Anti-Semitism is an evil poison that has existed for millennia. And uh, it sometimes goes underground, but it has never really fully gone away. Um, to anybody, to anybody who is claiming to stand in solidarity with these savage, brutal, disgusting attacks, they have lost their moral compass. They have made a choice to stand on the side of evil. And that will redound to their shame for the rest of their lives and beyond. So their, their shame knows no bounds. In terms of uh, the need for vigilance, it is higher than ever. You know, my late father, Tom Lantos, the only Holocaust survivor ever to serve in Congress, said something that has been quoted many times, but it's so true. He said, the veneer of civilization is paper thin. We are its guardians and we can never rest. Mm. Um, we can't rest. And that pertains to 
fighting back against anti-Semitism, the hatred of the Jewish people, fighting racism, fighting bigotry, fighting religious persecution, which is rampant around the world. So, you know, we are called to be watchmen on the tower. We are guardians of civilization. And that veneer is really very thin. So I think the message is vigilance, determination, a recognition that we can never rest, um, but also, a, I think, a hopeful belief that ultimately um, we will prevail. Yeah, absolutely. Katrina, thank you so much. We appreciate it. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for having me.